Various forms of martial arts use weapons as an extension of their practice. The most popular are the bow staff, nunchucks, and katanas. For the Shintani Wadokai style of karate, the Shindo is their weapon of choice. The art of Shindo was created by Hanshi Masaru Shintani, a Japanese Canadian and the founder of the Shintani Wadokai Karate Federation. After dreaming of a fight where he defeated many swordsmen with a short staff, he perfected the art and asked fellow high-ranking black belts to assist in creating a Shindo program. Shintani, unfortunately, was unable to see the Shindo program come to fruition as he passed away a short time later in May of 2000. To honor Hanshi Shintani, a committee was formed to establish the creation of the Shindo program. Today, not even two decades old, the art is taught in addition to the Wadokai style all over the country. Here in Calgary, the South Calgary Wadokai Karate Club practices Shindo in their youth and adult programs in dojos across the city. There are many reasons why karate ka enjoy the Shindo art, from personal development to curiosity, exercise to family time. Initially, I started with my daughter, Lily. So she's, uh, she's been doing it for longer. It gave me an opportunity to work out together. Shindo uses many of the same movements as traditional karate, including taisabaki motion used to generate power. But there are principles that separate Shindo from the traditional karate form. These four basic principles, when done correctly, are used to perform a strike that is both strong and fast. Rule of thirds is the first basic principle any student is shown when they begin. So one of the big things is uh, rule of thirds where you keep uh, the shindo divided into threes no matter where your hands are. So you have uh, equal opportunity to hit with both the top or bottom of the shindo. From here they will learn how to move the shindo across their body. In order to execute a strike, students must understand the push-pull movement that is made along the fulcrum. No matter what way the shindo is held, the hands will work, pushing and pulling, to help create momentum. The imaginary center of the shindo that is created through this motion is the fulcrum. The last basic principle is the line of force. The positioning of the hands is important to ensure you don't lose your strength or the shindo while performing techniques. The line of force is always behind the shindo. Line of force, I can come down with a strike this way, my hand and my arm is behind it, okay, I have strength, I don't even need to hang on to the shindo. If I'm upside down, hanging on my thumb, there's a ton of stress that comes on, on uh, my forearm and my thumb, my wrist. Two types of shindos are used depending on the practice being done. Competition shindos are used during the individual practice and for katas, while the softer rubber shindo is used for practicing advanced techniques with a partner, such as takedowns, arm bars, and advanced keyhones. While kumite is only done through demonstrations, takedowns are often practiced as a way to show the versatility of the weapon. Here, the shindo is used not only to deflect an incoming kick, but to render the attacker's legs useless before taking them down to the ground. It is also key that the one performing the takedown is in a control position on top of the attacker to ensure no other counterattacks are imminent. Less dramatic in visuals but equally effective is the arm bar or hold. There are many ways to do this such as catching an opponent's elbow around the shindo or through a trap at the throat. Shindo for many is a lifelong commitment and passion. It is also recognized as an extension of the karate practice revealing strengths and weaknesses in either sport. It really made me notice the problems I had in regular karate, which was like not enough hip, uh, too much upper body, my shoulders would be coming up. So when, I, when you put uh, like something in my hands, everything became a lot more obvious to me. Similar to karate, which uses belt colors to differentiate between rank, Shindo ranking is displayed by a colored stripe around the center of the weapon. As a student progresses, the stripes added are white for beginner, green for intermediate, brown for advanced, and gold for Udansha. Those with two gold stripes have high ranking instructor status. For one, practice every, as much as you possibly can. You just uh, come to the workshops. We, we conduct workshops quite regularly and you gain your hours and once you become proficient with the techniques that we look for, 
uh, you get your next rank. A Shindo symposium will be held from February 1st to 3rd for those new to the art as well as advanced karate ka. The event will showcase workshops on February 2nd for beginner, intermediate and advanced ranks and will also feature guest instructors. For more information, visit the South Calgary Wadokai Karate Club website.